Welcome back, everybody. In case you miss it or are just joining us, there are through four holes here at the Dakota Cup. Jordan is plus four, and the leader, Brandon, is even par. Brandon's coming off that spectacular birdie putt on the fourth hole. Had a 35-foot putt from just off the green. And he got to roll right in. Perfect pace here, as you see on our little instant replay screen here from the Dakota Cup. Perfect roll, and it sucks right in there. Let's see if he can keep that momentum going here. As we start here on the par 5 fifth hole, playing 523 yards. Brandon opting with driver off the tee. That is pounded. That is a laser beam. That's pushing three, 310. It might even be further than that. And got a great bounce down there too. So here's, here's Jordan off the tee. Driver in hand. Needs to start making something happen here. Holy, look at the shape on that, as you can see on our screen. That's, that's over the top. It's in the fairways, but it's just not going anywhere. That is a long ways behind Brandon's yeah, here. You, yeah, you, just, you can see right here, Brandon's ball is at least 150 to 160 yards ahead of where Jordan is at. That's, Jordan's hitting three wood. That's hard to compete, so Jordan's got to take a three wood here. It's hard to fathom. Man, look at the shape on that. That might be too far. Oh, and he's hit it right into the hazard there. Just a short little crick that comes across. He's going to hurt his neck doing that all the time. <laughs> You've seen that far too often. So what's Brand got here? Brand's only got an 8 iron from here. It's on a decent line. And it is a beautiful day here in Hankinson. It almost looks fake if you look at it. Toy Story-esque. So Jordan can't find his ball. He's going to have to drop. So he's playing his fourth from here. can still make par. He's just got to get up stay and down. calm. He's just got to stay calm. Take it one shot at a time. And can you imagine if there's a little bit of wind at this course right here? That is a... It'd be a he'd play a lot, lot tougher... Some of these holes would be touching 600 yards. Mm -hmm. So here's Brandon just off the side of the green here. This would be his third shot. It's a little chip up. Mm, that'll work. That's that's a makeable birdie putt. The greens still have some sand from some recent area from some recent aeration. But this would be Jordan for par. Of course, is in great condition. It's in prime condition for some major activity here and that's you know he's just not going to score from that distance that's a that's a decent putt but it's just going to be a tap in bogey here it's going to mark it and you know it is major you want to make sure you put those in here's Brandon for a birdie to get to red numbers oh and he knocks it in he's excited Movement is on his side. <laughs> oh, and he gets the crowd going. A little emotion from Brandon. You don't usually see that, but he, he knows this is a big it's tournament. It's a big tournament, yeah. He wants this one. So here's Jordan to for bogey, and he drops two more strokes to Brandon. So through five here. He's got to rethink his strategy at this point. He's fallen too far back. Yeah, through five, Brandon is one under here on the par three. Sixth hole, it's 137 yards. What's he taking here? This is just a gap wedge, 50 degrees. That's going to be right in the middle of the green. It's a pretty good shot. I work pin high, so here's Jordan opting with a nine iron. Seems to be aimed a little right. It's a little thin and it's coming out. Ooh, that took a terrible bounce. Oh man. So. Oh my gosh. And you see here, the, the course, it's a. Uh, it's major, major, uh, major cuts here. It's, so that's, it's, that's thick. It's re definitely ready for a major. That's a gnarly lie right next to the green. It'll be tough to get this one close. Ooh. Oh, I think that's, he probably wanted to land it where it ended up. Oh, boy, that's, so once again, here's a long par putt. And 
that just never broke. He didn't give it enough, so left it short. And here's another bogey. It's becoming all too familiar for him, these bogey putts. It doesn't look like he's uh, his game's in the right spot here, and only one one player has really come prepared. This is for Brandon's third straight birdie. No. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. A little smirk crosses his his face there. Tap in par, and he's still one under after six. So, on to the par five seventh, and another massive hole here. It's 513 yards, and that's obliterated. Yeah, he's hit a massive drive down the right side. Should be about the same distance left of the hole as he was on the previous par five. So here, Jordan plus six now after. Six holes. Takes his driver out. That's going to be okay. It's just short. Just a lazy fly ball. Going, going with the three wood again. I mean, that's pretty typical and for a par, par five. But, but he's not getting it anywhere near the green with his second shot. No. So that's going to find the middle of the fairway, but it's going to be... Another 100-yard shot. Yep. So what's Brandon got here? Brandon's going with an 8-iron again. So same as the fifth hole. Yep. Got a bit of a flyer lie from this spot. Oh, it's and come it did. out pretty hot. He's caught it clean. He's going to He's gonna like the way this one ends up. Man, he's on his game. So Jordan had a little club confusion here with his caddy, and... Had to switch back to his his a wedge here, and that looks it just it just looks like he never felt comfortable with it. No, he's got to he's got to really commit to his shots here if he wants to score. I mean, he's pin high here; he's just got to commit to it. Mm -hmm. So this is fourth. And he's just always just scrambling for his pars here. That's it's, a nice chip. It's still crazy to me that he's able to even get pars on these holes from where his shots are going. Yeah, that's a long, long hole. 500 and 515-ish. You know, that's... Brandon's eagle putt from just off the green. Ooh, it's got the line. Ooh, Ooh great pace. Wow, and that's just another tap-in birdie. It's going to go to two under here. Yep. Just going to clean it up quick. Oh, my gosh. Are you... Oh my man! Oh. <laughs> you gotta. I don't even know what I said there. <laughs> it's, it's a loss for words. That oh you can't God. have that. This is a major championship, and he's doing that. Are you kidding? Take your time. Look, look here. He's taking a couple practice swings. He's gonna put that in. Par. This is probably one of the only lessons from Jordan you should take. So they both get the same score. Brandon just going with driver here, hoping to get some momentum back after that ridiculous miss. He's pulled that one a little bit to the left. That should be out in the left rough. Well, and he's still only one. Are he's still one under? So it's not like it's wrecked his round by any means. But he does have a seven-stroke lead through seven holes. Yeah. Jordan should be, yep, just out in the middle of the fairway, 160 yards out. What's he got here? He's got about the 7 iron here, it looks seven like. 7 iron, really? Standing over it for quite a while. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. You don't need, we don't need to see that from him. <laughs> we know he's frustrated, but keep it under control. I mean, it's got to be just demoralizing when he's hitting fairways and then that stuff happens. That looked like a pretty easy swing from Brandon there. It looked like he had an awkward lie. His feet were in a hole. And the rough's a little unlucky. So where we at here with Jordan? I mean, he's probably got a, roughly 100 yards. He's going to take his A wedge here. It's a decent shot. Left side of the green, but doesn't seem to be too pleased with it. Once again, playing for par. So... Brandon with another green in regulation here. It's his fifth straight birdie attempt. 
Or excuse me, this is six straight birdie attempts. We haven't seen this from this kind of play from anybody on the yeah, not on yet this year. It's, he stepped it up a couple of levels. Here we go. He's marking his ball there. That's a, that's a good sign that he's kind of. We must have said it loud enough here in the booth. Hmm. So here's Jordan for par, and that was just terrible. He just misread it. Maybe the shadow messed with it. I don't know. This is for a bogey again. So he's got it there. But Brent's just got this tap in for par, and he's looking to gain another stroke on him. Another, yeah. And he's got that as well. So an eight-shot lead after eight. Here we're coming up on the ninth hole. It's par four. Dogleg left. Brandon just he's just gonna go with the four iron again. So the way he started the round, is the way he's ending the turn here with a, a four iron. I might find the trees over there. So here's a four iron. Here's Jordan's driver off the tee. Man, that's going the ball flight on that. It's 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 something. I mean, it's it's not right. <laughs> no, that's for sure. So on this 386 yard par four, he's got driver a, three wood, a three wood, and he's pulled that left. I better okay. get over the fescue there, and he, he does. He doesn't know what he's doing though. One of his main problems is he's got his three wood. It goes about 180 yards, and then it can go 240. That's too big of a gap in his clubs. Brandon with a pitching wedge. I don't know what he's doing here. Oh, no, that's he's, going he's left. That, he's hit that right into the water hazard. Are you kidding me? Not a smart play. Oh, my gosh. The last thing you want to do is take your foot off the gas. Yeah. Scary folks, there's a couple unruly fans here at the majors. You know what? You never know what you're going to get when there's... Such a large group of people. So Brian with his, that would have been his third or his fourth. That was his fourth shot. No, it was. Let's let's recount this. One, two, three in the water. Drop four. That was his er, fifth. <laughs> yeah, he was hitting his fourth shot from there. So this is his fifth. He's going for bogey from here. Jordan's nice approach there, and he's uh, got a decent shot at that's birdie. That's got to slow down. All right, par, excuse me. So there's Bren's bogey attempt, and he's blown that way by the hole. This is not how you wanted to, to see him end it here. He had such a good round going. Oh, my gosh. Wow, and then he's that just giving by. strokes away. These are lost strokes. A triple bogey? Seven at the ninth. Oh, my gosh. To finish at a 38 plus 2. So here's Jordan for par to gain three strokes on Bren. This would be huge for his confidence. He did not play well these first nine holes. And he got that to go of 46, uh, 43, so he's down five. He's still got life. 